What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of the Co-op Championship. This, if you haven't noticed already, it is the Mexican Grand Prix. Only two more rounds to go after this one. Arav, hello. What's going on guys? Yeah, only two more rounds after this one. It's getting very, very close. If you missed the last one, go check it out. It was very, very important for the championship. A new round here. We're in the Mercedes at the back. Default setup. And we are battling for the constructors. We have got the lead now. I think that's enough time for you to avoid spoilers. We've got the lead now of the constructors. We just need to solid solidify it. We need to keep ahead of Ferrari because if they get another one, two, they're straight back in it. So we've got to keep on doing the job that we did in the USA. That was pretty much a perfect race, almost. Pretty much, near enough. Yeah, so just about, yeah. We've just basically just got to do it again. So I'm going to look at the race strategy. My team's already set me on primes. I want to be on primes anyway. So I don't think there's much else to say, but uh, on delay to the Mexican Grand Prix. <laughs> that was cheeky, all right. Hopefully we didn't get blown up in this one. That would be an absolute calamity at this stage of the five championship. Away we go. We're off. You said five red lights, and I, already, I was already in second gear, mate. <laughs> <laughs> nice host hacks, even though you're not <laughs> hosting. I'm already in turn one now. <laughs> I've gone down the oh, outside. Which is, oh. I've gone down the outside, which is not a good idea. No, 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 Ooh, no, 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 Oh my no. god. Ben's ghosting oh. everywhere. What on earth's happening? That was nasty. I, I, I oh, no, I no. The buyback. I've aimed to do a 360 wow. like Ben did in USA. Oh, again. Come, what am I doing this episode? Right. Break. I've basically done the opposite of what happened in USA. I'm the one who spanned the start. Even though yeah. I thought I was being pretty clean, I went very cautious around the outside, but then there was a Lotus on my inside that did not help. I'm sorry about my driving, guys. That was just atrocious. But, that uh, was crazy to one. You're like, no, 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 no. It's like I was kamikaze. What on earth is Verstappen doing? Verstappen's lost his front wing and he's just malfunctioning at the back. Has he? Oh, wow. Oh, this has been a good start. Somehow, I didn't imagine this lap ending so well. But uh, that's that's how it's turned out. Raikkonen leads after the end of lap one. And Nazar in the points is right in front of me. Oh, I've only just checked my dashboard. No. I've got red front right. Wing. Front right. <laughs> oh, no. I'm going to try and stick out one more lap because it wasn't actually too bad. I only noticed when I checked the dashboard. I couldn't actually feel it properly. So let's see, but I didn't even realise because uh, they're so stupid in this game. It hasn't shown me anything's off my front wing, and yet there's damage. Really? Right. What lap time did you do? Uh, 21.6. Oh. <laughs> oh, I don't think I, I think this is going to have to be my last lap on this. I did a yeah, 123. 123.4. Or yeah, can't handle it anymore. We're going to have to go very bold here. Options till the end. Uh -oh. This is gonna be. Uh, this is gonna be. This is gonna have to be a drive and a half, really, to keep these tires in check. Yeah, I believe uh, Mexico is quite harsh on the toll uh, on the old tire wear. So. Yep. This is gonna be one feisty battle. It's either gonna end up well, or I'm going to really just hit the cliff like Raikkonen did at China in 20. I think it was 13. 13? No, 14. What am I talking about? He wasn't even there in 13. 14. I'm sorry. Yeah, China, 2014. You remember, Raikkonen went far too long on his tyres and then dropped like 20 seconds in like five laps. I don't think it'll get to that stage. I think the tyres will blow out before before that happens. Because <laughs> this, this is the game where explosions of the tyres happen. <laughs> so really, I'm just doing a drive to the tyres explode challenge, lads. <laughs> Impromptu. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fucking 17.5? What planet are you from? <laughs> <laughs> hey man, I've got a lot of time to make up. <laughs> oh, I know what that means. <laughs> you can check my lap. It was so Warning, legitimate. Corner Warning, corner cutting. Warning, it was corner so cutting. legitimate, alright. Oh, Hulkenberg, what are you doing back here? You're behind the manners. What has gone on with you in your world, Hulk? He's lost. <laughs> he can't find the track again. Yeah. Oh, not, not down the inside there, but here. Oh. This just oh. Been a... That 
That was cheeky, Hulk. You tried it, but no. Resistance is futile. It's just a massive freaking gap from where uh, Ericsson was when I overtook him to this. Holy, holy, holy! Oh! Oh. Something has happened. Problems. I think Arab's dead. I, I, I legit have died. I actually died. If you saw that, guys, on my screen, Hulkenberg catapulted over my car. How does that even happen? That was madness. <laughs> that was madness. I've now got no front wing, and I'm past turn one. <laughs> it's over, lads. It's, uh, it is. It's, uh, it's time for another race like Monaco, I think. If you're on my channel, um, I guess this is a good time to bring back the David Attenborough looks at F1 circuits. <laughs> so, if you can see there on the right, there's a grandstand. They're all looking at the trees on the left. That's because the trees are very indigenous to this part of Mexico. And on the left, you can see the National Park of Mexico. It's actually called <laughs> Los <laughs> Waters. And it's a very famous <laughs> landmark. It, it really is. You must see it. It's got some beautiful, beautiful red herrings. And we come into the stadium <laughs> section where Stop, they I had to they had to mine out 500 tons of uh, precious <laughs> unobtainium to make this Stop. stadium. And as we Your come through, is right for me. <laughs> <laughs> as we come into the pits, I've forgotten to put set my tyres, but I'm going to set on primes anyway. And we come into the pits. Now something about this pit lane is that they were actually made <laughs> up orphanage towns. The buildings were actually merged together. Orphans used to live here. You better fucking hurry up, because I'm in the pits too. <laughs> Whoops. I've just exited. Don't worry. There you go. Oh, man. good. Okay, pit crew, they look ready. Wait, they're ready for my tyres or not? No, they're not ready for my tyres! Three, four, five, six. Now they pick up my tyres. I put primes on again. They put prime tyres on again! You can't make this stuff up. So we look on the left, you can see the second national park <laughs> in Mexico, and that is called Los Puertos, and it's very, very famous for their fish. Um, this race has gone to fuck. Um, right, um, Raikkonen, blue flags, um, I'm sorry mate, I've spontaneously forgotten what that means in vocabulary of racing drivers, and I'm just gonna have to hold you up, really. Raikkonen's about to spontaneously combust. <laughs> I'm gonna do the Houdini trick here. Now you see him, now he's spun out. So, um, for those five people left in the comment section <laughs> who think this is a good game, there you go. What kind of good game puts you on prime tires when you clearly are meant to go on options anyway? And what kind of good game makes your AI turn into you on a straight DRS zone? And then, even if it was half my fault, he then catapulted over my car, which doesn't make any physical sense. In conclusion, F1 2015, 1 out of 10 IGN, wouldn't play again. <laughs> it's races like this that make me actually want to throw this disc out the window. Like, really, just really, it's just ruined the race. Come on, Codemaster. I mean, even, let's put aside my thing. It would have been, still been a fine race if Ben was still in the race. But now, mm. what have you done? I'm not gonna give up just yet. There's a, a shitload of cars in front of me. Me versus Raikkonen trying. To, this is a massive train. We've got we've got a whole party here in this section. It's like ground war and Call of Duty. Oh, whoops! I've just realised where I am on track in comparison to you. Um, that might be me holding them all up. Oh, right. Not intentionally. I was just driving actually quite slowly because I just couldn't be asked to drive anymore. Lost the will to live. Yeah, basically. Raikkonen is overtaking another McLaren Honda. This is a cluster and a half. That's a double up. Triple. Make it four. Come on. Make my day. Okay, on the outside of Grosjean. No, that was Maldonado. I can't... I'm in 11th now. <laughs> and someone's in the pit lane. Make that 10th. Yeah, I just realised <laughs> that we're right next to each other. I can literally just be the lead car and just push through this traffic with you. Oh. <laughs> I mean, my holding up already helped you there with the little stadium yeah. section. I might get Kvyat into this corner too. Let's see, alright. Yeah, if I'll you're going to get Kvyat, I'll work on Grosjean. I've had the... Like rugby players, like 
You take him up high, I'll take him down low. I'll get his <laughs> <Yeah>. legs. <laughs> oh! Oh. Oh, he's taking... He, mm, that worked out. <laughs> At least I got out of your way. I tried the undercut, switched back on the racing line, and Grosjean just parked it like an absolute... Well, oh, yeah. see you next Tuesday. Oh. On the left, you can see the... Big cliffs of Mexico, yes. They're not as good as the white cliffs of Dover, but I'll, I'll, I'll give you that, they've tried. And the left, you can see a huge oh grandstand. God. And basically, the grandstand <laughs> overlooks the orphanage of this beautiful oh national God. park on the right. And uh, I don't know what who's interrupting the tour guide, but can you please calm down, sir? I'm trying to do a tour guide here. Are you fucking serious? So as you can see, we've got a wild botas entering the National Park number Quattro. Um, hey, let me tell you a particular, a peculiar story actually that just happened a lap ago. A red tiger tried to attack me. It was very ferocious. I had to put him into a wall to really get rid of him. It was a real bloodbath. Many, okay. many front wings were lost. Oh, people in my, in my video, let me know in the comments below if you're OG enough to remember the lovely tour guides on F1 from the good old Road to Glory days when I used to get so bored during a race in the Marussia on F1 2012. I just used to commentate a lap of what I could see around me. It's marvellous. And really, I've, it's come full circle. Three years down the line, doing the exact same thing, just in a bit of a better car. I think that the sooner people start realising I stopped giving a shit like 10 races ago, the better for all. <laughs> Plus that was bullshit, come on. Fucking gave you prime tyres and Hulkenberg oh, yeah. just blew me up. I just, uh, I just acted like an AI car. Put the engine down into lean. The engine has gone into knockoff early mode. What, what a fourth place. I just... He, he brought okay, it all the way. So I joined and I was just in front of Mary and uh, that was, mugged it back yeah, in the points. That was, that was sublime. Absolutely sublime. All, all natural. All me. All. Yep. Thank you for visiting the National Park or Parks of Mexico. It's been a lovely time touring you. Please do come Don't next time and tell your family and friends to come here. Don't forget to get your stamp on the way out so you can get back in for free. Exactly. And don't forget you can buy that very overpriced photo of yourself exiting as well in the <laughs> gift shop. <laughs> get a photo with our of um, admiring that sunset. Yep. Brilliant. What the fuck was this place? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know what to say. <laughs> All I can say is... <laughs> Don't take that too seriously. That, was just, that whole race was just crazy. Ben got fucking put on primes. Hulkenberg catapulted over me. There, there, there actually is nothing else to say. There, I mean, the, it just, What this is, is a classic 2015 race. And my response was just... Let's just fuck it up as much as it fucked us up. <laughs> yep. Yep, yep, yep. So I'll, because I'll, I think we rejoined and I was like... I was going to be like fifth and like right behind that queue and on a set of option tyres. I think pretty certain I was going to win that race anyway and uh, yeah. But uh, yeah, we've been we've been duped and we duped them back and uh, that's how it's turned out. Make sure you check out Arab's channel or check out my channel if you're watching from his point of view. If you haven't seen the other person before then do subscribe. Leave a like if you enjoyed, if you enjoyed Arab's tour, I've got to say you, uh, you definitely have a career in... Um, um, Making up bullshit on the guiding. spot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That's, it. That's been this video for today. I think we've only got two more rounds of uh, co-op to go. Yeah. So, uh, hopefully hopefully then... the, the, the next two will be a bit more, you know, normal. <laughs> <laughs> Look, listen, it will, it will be a bit more not normal, hopefully, for the finale. And for Brazil, the penultimate race. This one is probably the third race we've had where it's been like this. It's been a bit of a blip in the season where we've just had a bit of fun and just, you know, fucked around because the game fucked around with us. So, uh, yeah, but hopefully the next two should be quite good. Obviously, we've still got to work hard, actually, because Ferrari still could technically overhaul us if they get two one twos and we don't do well in those races. And Brazil, obviously, very tight first turn. And Abu Dhabi, well, you never know. So... Yeah, 
We'll see you guys next time. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Let us know what you thought below. Subscribe, all that good stuff. Bye. Bye. And by the way, the Blu-ray version of my tour guide is coming out in the next month, so you can pre-order now. Thanks. Yeah, it'll be on iTunes next week yeah. as well. It's called Keeping Up with Mexico. <laughs> That's too much. <laughs> oh, what are we even doing anymore? <laughs> <laughs> We're fucking reacting to a shit game. <laughs>